Hi, this is Tanya Hurley, author of Ghost Girl and the Blessed, and I just want to give a huge shout out to all the viewers of Droid A. Um, I got the idea actually um, when I was in Mexico last time, um, looking at the art and the religious art next to kind of the Day of the Dead art. Um, I went home, I immediately went home and started researching martyr stories um, and found that um, kind of these these martyr stories of these young girls who were willing to die what they believed in or the first real young adult stories that we have and that inspired me to bring that into a modern context and um, and weave it into kind of real New York stories of trying to make it in the world yes definitely the first book um, it was all in the process um, I was learning these characters and I, I rewrote the book a lot um, but there are definite um, things that happen in each three of the books. Uh, the, the trilogy is completely planned, um, planned out and uh, very precise. So certain things will happen in the second book that will probably be a little bit surprising. I think the end of the first book is, is uh, there's a twist there too. So, um, so yes, there def there's definitely an agenda. Uh, the most challenging thing, I think, um, was dealing with the, the whole idea of religion. This is not a religious book. Um, I do use faith as a narrative, um, but it's not, uh, it's not, a, not a religious book. I just wanted um, girls to kind of, or reader, my readers, to walk away with a sense of empowerment. And, and I didn't want to write a typical love story. I wanted to write a love story, but in a completely new way. And um, these martyr stories really um, inspired me um, because they are love stories, martyr stories. And I wanted to bring that into a modern context. Um, yes, I, I was surprised. Um, when, when, when you think of martyr stories, you think of these passive, these passive uh, people and, and how they, you know, they, they, they it's, it, they, I, when I went back and read them, I found them to be very empowering, especially the female um, martyr stories, um, how young they are and how they, they're refusing to do what they're told to do, and they, they feel something extraordinary inside of them. And that's really what I, wanted my re I want my readers to walk, walk away with. No, ma no matter what you're surrounded by, believe in yourself you, you know I don't, and I also don't want my readers to feel like they need someone else to save them in their life they have the ability and the strength and the power to save themselves and um, so so that's really where the idea came from um, I I was a musician um, since the age of eight I studied music and I moved to New York to be a musician that's kind of where the Cecilia story comes from <laughs> Uh, but I fell in love with writing and um, I'm very happy that I did because uh, I really enjoy writing writing books for teens. Um, yes, I love music. I love art, music. Um, I worked in the music industry for a long time when I moved to New York. Um, I worked for some very famous artists that I've remained friends with and um, to pick a new album of the for this year would be probably impossible for me <laughs> because I have a favorite, new favorite every week. But I love bands uh, like the Yeah Yeah Yeahs and um, really modern kind of kind of bands. And I also I listen to The Cure a lot. I listen to also bands um, from back in the day. So I'm just a music freak. <laughs> Yes, um, I'm, I'm constantly in contact with my readers, uh, especially in Mexico. I am um, constantly running contests, and and they're they're so enthusiastic and creative, and they really get my work. And I'm I'm thrilled and blessed to have them in my life. And constantly, I'm running contests and shopping for them <laughs> um, because I love to to, to mail them packages. Um, their creativity just amazes me. And I just ran a uh, sanctify yourself contest, and um, of course, the winner was from Mexico. And this just uh, just the elaborate um, length they go to to express themselves is uh, something that I appreciate very much. Um, 
yeah, I, I hope that you walk away um, after reading the Blessed uh, with a sense of first. First off, I hope you're entertained by it, and secondly, I hope you can relate to it and also um, realize that um, it, it 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 it's not a religious book but it does use faith as a narrative. And I think the most important faith you can have is uh, faith in yourself. Thank you so much.